I'm Christopher Zweig, and up next on CJ at the Movies, my review of the new Australian horror film from IFC Midnight called Relic. Let's take a look. As the film begins, Emily Mortimer and Bella Heathcote play a mother and daughter whose grandmother goes missing and comes back all twisted and bizarre. She's played by Robin Nevin from the Matrix sequels. Do you know where you were, Mum? I suppose I went out. What's this? I was on the property when your grandfather inherited it. His mind wasn't there in the end. Is it just me, or do the best horror movies like The Shining or Rosemary's Baby have the old folks creeping you out, with all respect, and when you're in an old house with creepy noises and mold emerging, you know you're in deep trouble. These girls are. Mum, what is it? It's here. Under the bed. There's nothing under the bed, Mum. Will you check for me? A few dull spots here and there, but Relic is an impressive film debut for short subject director Natalie Erica James, who gives this horror story a deep sense of purpose. The performances from Mortimer, Heathcote, and Evan are all mesmerizing, the sets and locations match the eerie tone of the movie, and the terrors creep up on you when you least expect them. It's a chiller that wants to frighten you with its grandma turning evil, and her daughter and granddaughter both struggling to make sense out of her behavior, and its final 10 minutes will leave you in question. Check it out! Okay, now it's time for me to take another look at the movies I've reviewed this week. Thumbs way up a first cow, which never milks the relationship between two strangers harvesting stolen milk for their own benefits. It's one of the year's best films. Thumbs down, however, for Tom Hanks' World War II movie Greyhound, which cares more about the action than it does on the character development. Thumbs way up for Palm Springs, probably the best time warp comedy since Groundhog Day with Andy Samberg and Kristen Milioti. Thumbs way up for Charlie Theron's latest action movie The Old Guard, which questions immortality with entertaining results. And finally, boy was it a great week at the movies, thumbs up for the Australian horror film Relic with a sinister grandmother and a lot of thrills. Well, those are the movies I've reviewed this week. If you liked this review and other reviews coming up, please subscribe to my channels, and you can also read my written material at cjatthemovies.com. I'm Christopher Zweig, stay safe, and I'll see you at the movies. Whenever we get back there.